Every time you say yes to something, you say no to something else. And that's because every human has a finite amount of time. The sooner you realize this, the better decisions you are going to make. The hardest part? You have to say no to a lot of things. You have to create a vision and a mission, what you actually want, and you have to say yes to only the things that will take you towards that goal. There's a concept of only saying yes to the hell yes things and no to everything else. This is why life and your dreams is about sacrifices. And if you ask yourself, how much are you willing to sacrifice for your dream life? Because you won't reach that dream life if you aren't willing to sacrifice something. And this is the number one reason so many people are stuck in their life. They aren't willing to sacrifice some of the things that they do on a regular basis. You might enjoy time with your friends, you might enjoy watching Netflix, you might enjoy smoking a cigarette, I don't know, but that takes up time. And what if you decided, okay, you want to become a millionaire, okay, what does millionaires do? Does the millionaire watch Netflix? Does he go on and complain and, and talk bullshit with his friends. I doubt he is. I guess he's more focused on solving real problems, getting to know the right tools and systems to get towards his dreams, and not playing games, not doing trivial shit that somebody else can do. So life is actually about saying no to a lot of things to be able to say yes to those things that actually matters. And by saying no to a lot of things, you leave room for the things that actually matters. That's how you create the luxury of choice, to be able to choose the things you want. And in my life, I've gone through a lot of uh, elimination and if you want to reach something, you need to eliminate all the things that don't support your mission where you aim to go. For example, drinking alcohol. That's really fun and it can be the best time of your life and you're free and, and you feel this energized feeling. But the cost of that might be the whole next week. You, you're in a hangover, you feel shit, you've resetted your brain, you, you, you kind of went three steps back in all your progress, in your physical health, your mental health, and your work progress. So, is it really necessary to go out and drink? For me, not anymore. I used to do a lot of that. Now, I spend time on really building my business, building something for my family. Even doing these videos instead of scrolling Netflix, scrolling YouTube, scrolling Instagram. And the trick here is to become aware of all your actions. This is why I talk so much about self-awareness. Without becoming aware what you do on a daily basis, you are gonna continue doing the same things that will keep you in the exact same place. If you wake up and you do everything as you did yesterday, you brush your teeth, you go to work, you come home, you feel tired, you go to dinner, and then you watch some TV, and then you hope that your life will change. Well, I'm here to tell you, it won't change if you don't change. And the way you change is that you change how you think, you change the beliefs inside of you and you start acting differently. Without acting differently, everything will be the same. 
and I made a video that's called old ways never opens new doors that's exactly the point that's kind of it puts it into a one sentence old ways never opens up new doors if you are serious about making a change in your life you have to change how you act and the tricky part is when you start changing your ways and you feel like okay i don't want to go out and drink on the weekend suddenly everybody is inviting you and there's huge parties there's everything you get there for free this is the universe testing you do you really want to change it presents you with these shiny objects it's like don't change and your ego is like i want to go to a party imagine it's gonna be the best thing ever and i'll get it for free it's like yeah but the thing is nothing is free you spend time on it when you make time your most valuable currency you start thinking totally differently about everything so making time your currency instead of money or other things you're gonna start seeing everything so much differently you're gonna price your work differently you are gonna Think about who you hang out with. Okay, where do I put this time? If you only have two hours, if you're gonna lay on the sofa, that's only gonna take you further away from your goals and dreams. So if you get up and do something for those two hours, even if you feel it's not enough to reach anywhere, you keep on doing that every day. Even if it's for 15 minutes, you take the first action, you, you move the needle a little bit, and over time, it's gonna work out. So if you're stuck in a job that you hate and you don't want to be there, start by studying something. Okay, what are you passionate about? What would you want to do? What can other people benefit from that you have you have a unique story or maybe you can be a motivational guy or something like that start doing something and the path will open up once you start walking on it and this is why overthinking i've struggled a lot with this i thought that i need to have everything figured out before i start doing anything and this is the biggest problem you have to start doing something and then you evaluate and iterate and be like, oh, this was really cool. Oh, this is working. Oh, this got really good feedback. Then you kind of go towards that. And it's also important to remember, don't only follow what other people say. Be like, okay, I need to think critically. And I have a video about that. I need to think critically about okay does this align with the whole vision the the thing that i want or is it only a distraction that is actually keeping me where i want to go i had a client call today and and we talked exactly about this he has a dream towards a bigger goal but then suddenly there are smaller opportunities coming up and he's like, yeah, but I just want to help with these and, and, and these are like really easy. And I asked him, okay, how much time do you spend on these? And he's like, yeah, I spend quite a lot of time now, but I think that I'm going to automate and I, it's going to be really good. And I just told him like, okay, you're spending way too much time. You have an illusion that everything is just going to work out really well and, and everything is just going to be automated and uh, flow for itself. But that's never going to be the truth. He's still going to use a lot of time and effort and, and uh, mental capacity to do that low hanging fruit work with, with really small rewards if he don't track it, if he don't become aware of what he's doing he's gonna stay there and and the time runs out to start working on his real dream so this is what we worked on today to really get clarity on what is important and to start saying no to things that aren't aligned with that big goal because only the things that are aligned with the big goals are worth saying yes to 
This is how you speed up the process to start living your dream. Okay? And you can start thinking about sacrifices like every time you sacrifice something, you get more of the thing that you actually want and the better thing. And you might not see it in the beginning. You have to sacrifice all the fun and the joy and the, the familiar. But once you do the sacrifices often enough for this bigger thing, you will reap immense awards, like so much bigger than those small things were in the past. And I've had to cut out friends. I've had to completely change my life in what I do and how I do it and when I have time. Now it's more about, okay, if I have the time to go exercise, I'll do that instead of drinking or doing drugs or something like that. That's only gonna take away from my health, away from spending time with my family, away from spending time with my kid, away from building my ideal future. So remember that there's always a sacrifice and the sacrifices will feel difficult. They will feel like struggles, but that only shows that you really care and that you really are working towards something bigger. And the last thing I want to touch on here is that most people say yes to these low hanging fruit and these small opportunities because they lack self-respect. They don't respect themselves enough. They don't value their own time enough. So they give it away to all these other people and trivial things when actually you should start focusing on yourself and making yourself happy, making your dream come true and sacrifice the need to please others. People pleasing is a disease that you don't have to go along with. You can make the choice to just cut it out. Change and you will see everything changes. And there's a saying in this uh, legendary book 5 a.m. club by Robin Schwarma. Everything is difficult in the beginning, confusing in the middle and easy in the end. And once you understand this concept of difficult, confusing, easy, then you kind of know that you're on the right path. Okay, you do difficult choices, then you're just super confused and then comes the release and everything just feels so good and it's just flowing in the right direction. I hope you like this video, comment what you think and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name is Mitz and remember, create those boundaries, say those no's and respect yourself and go towards your dreams. Peace out, stay cool and have a nice day.